Hey there, Internet! My name's Luxander, and today we're going to be talking about how you can correct someone who has misgendered you without reinforcing misogyny. I want to quickly thank my patrons who voted for this topic over on my Patreon page. I put up a poll because I am working through a backlog of ideas for videos that I have, so thank you for selecting this one, and now we're going to talk about it. I just want to give a few tips and how-tos for how to deal with being misgendered as an AFAB person who is presenting masculine. Basically, if you're trying to present as masculine, but people keep being like, hey, you're a girl, like, how can you correct them without making it seem like an inherently bad thing to be a woman. Obviously, if you were assigned female at birth, it can be extraordinarily annoying and painful to be called a girl in your everyday doings, but I personally think it's also important to, when you're correcting people, not give the impression like it is a bad thing to be a girl. Obviously, if that's your assigned gender, it can feel inherently very bad to be called a girl, but the fact of being a woman is not a bad thing, but our culture treats it like it's a bad thing, so I have personally tried to make my responses to this situation as mild as possible for the emotions that I'm dealing with in that moment. I don't think it's a bad thing to be a girl, it's just a bad thing for people to think that I'm a girl, because I'm not one. As you can see, this can be a very sticky situation. I just want to run through some examples of ways that I've handled this in the past, so maybe you could take something away from that, and also if you have any ways that you deal with being misgendered that try to downplay that it's a bad thing to be a girl, let me know in the comments. I very recently had someone say, she's smart when talking about me, and I said, she's not a girl, but thanks. That's a line that I've used multiple times, just like, uh, yep, she's not a girl, but mm, sure, okay, mm -hmm. Sometimes when you make a correction like this, people will fall over themselves apologetically, and one time that this happened with me, I just said like, eh, it's not a big deal, man, it's not a bad thing to be a girl, I've just accepted that I'm incredibly pretty. Which may seem like a weird self-descriptor for someone who's transmasculine, but I kind of view it in terms of, like, Game of Thrones, like, mm, Jon Snow is prettier than both of Tormund daughters. Sometimes there will be situations where someone says, sir, I mean ma'am, or ma'am, I mean sir, and in those situations I just say like, hey, you got it right the first time, or you got it right the second time, whichever is applicable. I guess kind of side note, I am non-binary, of course, but I prefer in situations when I'm in public, particularly when I'm at work, to attempt to pass as male. I also once had someone tell me that I reminded them of Ronda Rousey, which is just terrible in so many ways, but my response to that was like, mmm, I love being compared to female athletes. I guess that one's kind of skirting on the edge of making it seem like it's bad to be compared to a girl or something like that, but it was just like, mmm, yeah, mmm, that was my favorite thing. I don't know, it just came out in the moment and it worked okay. I've also said something as simple as like, not a girl, but thanks. There are, of course, a number of ways that you can approach this, but my goal in these responses is to not be like, I'm not a f***ing girl, thanks. I'm having a hard time coming up with other examples because I've sort of fallen into my specific patterns of this is the way that I try to correct people when I try to correct them after many years of doing that. I will admit that a lot of the times when someone calls me ma'am, I just don't say anything, I don't correct them because it happens often enough that it's sort of to be expected, but it also like upsets me to a degree that I can't say anything about it most of the time. Typically what I do in that situation is just, for the rest of the interaction that I'm having with the person, I just drop my voice as deep as it will go in that moment, which at the very minimum prevents them from using more gendered honorifics in the rest of the transaction as I am countering their expectation of what a girl would sound like with my voice. But I just want to say, I'm not perfect about correcting people. Sometimes I do it in a way that is less than ideal for my standards, or a lot of the time I don't even say anything about it, which is okay if you're in a place in your transition where you don't feel like you can say anything, or if you're just in a situation where you feel like you can't say anything, it's all right. It doesn't make you invalid in any way in your trans identity to just let people misgender you and move on with your life. You kind of just have to deal with your own feelings and get on with it a lot of the time. And I will also say that I have the privilege of having a pretty deep voice from being on T for two years and letting it settle even further into a deep register. I don't play up that on my channel, like it's not always as obvious that I have such a deep voice because I let myself just talk normally on my channel, but that is a privilege that I have. And people who are pre-T or who can't go on T, you know, don't necessarily have the ability to just drop their voice down in the way that I do. But hopefully some of these examples have helped you if you want to be mindful of the misogyny aspect of our culture in the same way that I do. And if you have any examples of ways that you interact with being misgendered in a way that doesn't 
up the misogyny in our society, then let me know in the comments down below. I would love to hear more ways that I could be improving on this from y'all. That's all from me today, though. Thank you so much to my patrons for helping me decide what to talk about this week. There might be more times when I ask for y'all's input, so, you know, you might check me out on Patreon if you feel like being part of those discussions. But thank you everybody so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give me pretty pretty analytics to look at and comments to read. Find me on Patreon, subscribe to this channel, ring the bell for notifications, and I really, really, really hope that you have an okay day. Bye! Thank you to all of my patrons listed here, especially The Gay Agenda, Amber Music, David Walter, Jenny Swindles, Elijah Lane, Jess Zendrex, Gretchen Becker, Wellington Marcus, Nicolette Klassen, Alex Padilla, Mr. Atheist, Misty, and Pinesnake. Y'all are so wonderful.